you know, you, you hear it a lot, but environmentalists especially look uh, kind of into the future and see, you know, where where we want the environment to be, and, and we see that kids today are going to impact how how the river looks tomorrow, how our air quality and water quality looks. So, you know, the purpose is to teach kids about how important our environment is, and specifically how important the, the Cape Fear River and watersheds are, and, and to teach them how to take care of it, and to get them interested in, you know, science and, and learning about the environment. So my name is Kemp Burdett and I'm the Cape Fear Riverkeeper and Executive Director at Cape Fear River Watch. We protect and improve the Cape Fear River uh, and we do it through education, advocacy and action. Cape Fear River Watch is a non-profit environmental organization and we're tasked with the protection of the lower Cape Fear River Basin and we do that through action and advocacy and education. Well really, you know, Caitlin did most of the organizing of the camps. I'm Kaylin Hernandez and I'm the Education Specialist for Cape Fear River Watch. The idea of the camp came about because I have two children of my own and um, over the past few years I found that it was pretty expensive to put them in any kind of camps um, in, in the New Hanover County region. So when I became the Education Specialist for Cape Fear River Watch, um, I wanted to be able to provide a fun educational experience for children no matter what their family's income is and so that's sort of where the idea of the Eco Camp and the Waterkeeper Camp was, was spawned, just wanting to provide something for everybody. them to understand what a watershed is and to make them understand why it's important to protect the air and the water um, within their watershed um, to make them better stewards of the environment um, in the future. It gave them specific things that they can do as individuals and things they can bring home to their families um, to help protect the watersheds and keep our water clean. It was fun at camp and today was the best day ever. Why was today the best day ever? Because we got to we got to learn about new stuff. Today we have gone around the Greenfield Lake. We are now on the high bridge that goes over a very large basin of the lake, probably dug out. Well, I've learned that Greenfield Lake was a man-made lake and that the Cape Fear River Basin was the only tidal basin in North Carolina and it's the biggest river in North Carolina too. I think in the eco camp, the, the day that they enjoyed the most probably was our trip to Southport. Um, some of the kids had never even been on the ferry and had never been on and over the water and we saw some dolphins. And I think that was the highlight um, of the entire week for some kids who've lived here their entire life and had never even seen a dolphin before. Um, so for me, um, that's what stuck out in my head most was that the looks on their faces um, when they were right on top of the river to see the wildlife that's in the river and realize that it's right here in, in their, back, their back door. Really? Wow, that had so much. I don't feel safe right here. For some reason, I just don't feel safe right here.
Keeper Camp was a little bit more um, sophisticated. We had a professor from UNCW come and teach them about um, water quality monitoring. Um, they were looking at maps. Um, they were doing more sophisticated things and, and sort of gearing them up to consider becoming an environmental scientist. Uh, my name is Roger Hsu. I'm a professor here in the Department of Geography and Geology. I teach geology as well as a few geography courses and I'm also quarter time in the Environmental Sciences Department where I teach uh, undergraduate and graduate courses including sustainability classes. Uh, together as we go through the years, as they grow up in this area, many of them will stay here and hopefully they will be better citizens and protectors uh, and advocate for the watershed itself. I hope that they've had fun here first of all. I think that's the most important thing and um, I hope they've all had a new experience in paddling. Um, but more importantly, I hope that they understand that what they do will influence the river and hopefully that they'll learn to just even pick up like dog poo, trash, that kind of thing, that would, be, that would be, make a massive difference. Um, and if they can pass that on to their kids, then it's protecting the environment for other great grandkids. I think one of the things that we really need to do is to have students be involved and know not just the beauty, not just the usage, but that it's also economics and there's a value in taking care of these places, not just for the aesthetics, but also, you know, for you know, our sustainable, you know, future. You're stepping all over them. The red little spiky balls. The little red spiky balls, yeah. <laughs> Those are called sundews. You killed him. <laughs> you take a look. I want you to see, come right here for a second. You see these flowers? Mm -hmm. That's the flower for the sundew. And so this plant right here, that was called the spiky ball. <laughs> that particular one, that's a sundew. And got its flowers going on. And right at the end of the stem, that's where the bugs get trapped in the sundew. That's where our future is. Um, when they have a better understanding of their environment, of local water quality issues and that sort of thing, then we're fostering future um, politicians, future teachers, future conservationists and people that can, can protect our environment for generations to come.